What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went for a little visit right here in the Safari Zone, the new Safari Zone, next to Cyanwood City. Yeah. Got to fulfill a little bit of a trick. And yes, we got to train our Pokemon just a little bit because the Pokemon here are pretty cool. They're pretty strong too, especially the Tauros. But as you guys can see, I trained up my Pokemon, the majority of them, to level 30. That way, <laughs> we can get ready for the next gym battle, which is over in Mahogany Town. Yeah, we have a battle. We still have a battle waiting for us right over there. So, let's go right ahead and fly over to Mahogany Town, because it's been a while, yeah? Yeah, it's been a while. A long, long time. So, here we go, flying. Let's go, take me away. Good old Togepi. Alrighty, so here we are in Mahogany Town. If you guys remember, we went here before, and that was because, well, you know, there was something going on. There was something a foot, big old foot. And I wonder if it's changed already. Yeah, it's kind of changed a little bit. So as you guys can see right here, this used to be the Team Rocket hideout. It was sending out some nasty, some nasty radio waves. And it was evolving Magikarp way too early than expected. And it, of course, we, that's where we got the Red Gyarados and all that crud. So now, we are unable to go into the gym battle right here in Mahogany Town. We skipped this one because, well, you know, if you guys remember in the old Pokemon... Uh, in the old Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough that I had, yeah, I kind of had an issue with Price and all his Pokemon right here. As you guys can see, he is the Winter Harshness. So, let's go right ahead and start battling. So the only man that's ever believed in us is right here. He's like, Price is a veteran who trained Pokemon for uh, for some 50 years. As you'll find, his attacks will make you shiver in the freezing gym. Are you ready to be frozen solid? I mean, keep a big hot fighting, uh, hot fighting spirit against this uh, ice type. Well, pretty much says that he doesn't really believe in us. But here it is, the first section. And, well, we're going to be finding some... We're going to be finding some uh, trainers right here. And since this is an ice type gem, more than likely we're going to have some kind of, uh, we're probably going to have some, like, you know, water type Pokemon in here that no ice type gem moves. This gym is a, or this gym has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. We are not playing games. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Border Patton, and yes, he's coming up with a Swinub right here. Unfortunately for me, I picked the, I picked the wrong Pokemon because it is still a ground type. So let's go with Nessie. That way we are not super affected by anything like right here. So remember, Swinub is still a ground type Pokemon. And Icy Wind does like to, well yeah, it does like to, uh, whatchamacallit, lower your speed a little. So just be aware of that. Now let's go right ahead and go for a Surf Attack. And just like this, yes, you have been defeated, Swinub. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Alrighty, okay. Okay, alrighty, Togepi getting some stuff, and well, Swinub is coming out again, so let's go right ahead and continue on with Nessie. Let's go with a, a Surf Attack right here. Now, cannot wait to start uh, doing, well, cannot wait to, you know, complete this walk right here, because yeah, I think I'm gonna try the whole team, uh, or the whole, what was it called, uh, Elite Four method, where we're going in there 20 times. If you guys remember, we did we did go to the Elite Four in Pokemon Crystal twenty times and managed to what was it called? Uh, we managed to what was it called? Train our Pokemon up to at least the level seventies. That was a nice. Th those were nice levels to get up against Red. So I think that's probably what we're gonna do it, barring anything else. And here we are taking on Skier Deanna, and she is coming out with her Jinx right here. So let's go right ahead, take on this po uh, this Pokemon. And here comes a Fake Tears. Uh oh, that right there is going to lower our special defense quite a bit. So here we go, Charge Beam for the win, and that right there will increase our special attack just a bit. So let's go with a Charge, and yeah, she is. <laughs> oh yeah, she's going for the sweet spot right here. So we're down four levels in our in our special defense, but this right here will bring us up at least one. And, well, let's go right ahead, go with a Thunder Punch. Here comes a Wake Up Slap. Don't know if that's... Yeah, that's not a special attack right there. So here we go, Thunder Punch. And just like that, Jinx has been defeated. 
Alrighty, okay, so there we go. And more Pokemon are getting some experience points, which is awesome right there. So, bam. I think we should switch to... I think we should switch to Cinder right here because, well, it is one level away from evolving. Let's go right here and go into the next floor or the next room. As you guys can see, we have more we have more skiers right here. So let's go right ahead and just battle this guy. Hey, hey, are you shivering? Are you scared to fight me? No, not really. You can only see shivering and all that stuff. So here we go, taking on DeAndre, and well, look, he's coming out with a seal, fret basket. Yeah, I always pick the wrong Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here, and... Fluffolt, you can take this. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's see where we're at, and well... Ice Shard. Ice Shard does it, Ice Shard hits it, and... That will not lower our speed, but here comes a Thunder Punch, just for added effect. And there we go. Seal has been defeated. Feeling good, feeling great. Okay, alrighty. And well, let's see. Coming out with a dugong, let's continue on right here with Fluffle. Hopefully we don't hopefully we don't lose this one right here. So let's go with another Thunder Punch. And that right there. For the win, say goodbye to Dugong. Alrighty, okay. And well, let's see. Togapri getting some points too without doing anything. So, let's go right ahead and take on Seal. Alright, Fluffolt, time to do it. Go for another Thunder Punch. Alrighty. Alrighty, there we go, and... That is the way you do it. Okay, so, there we go. We have defeated this guy. And yes, they will be... Well, these trainers will try and get you some... Like, try and get some Water-type Pokemon to evade the whole fire uh, effect right here. So just be aware of that. And, well, let's go right ahead, right here. Take on this person. And she's going to be like, check out my parallel turn. I wonder how a parallel turn can work right here in the ice. So let's go right ahead. There it is. Take it on a Dugong. And, of course, we're picking the wrong Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and switch out. Hopefully, you know, they won't do anything uh, kind of tricky right here. So here we go. It's Flood Bolt. All right, Flood Bolt. Tend to do it. And, well, of course, we're going to get Aurora Beamed. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with the Charge Beam right here. Charge Beam for the win. And just like that, Dugon nearly defeated. Holy crap, Baskets. Okay, so <laughs> that's not going to work. But here comes an Aqua Ring. Now, this one will heal up it, heal it, heal Dugong up with whatever water is coming out. Of course, there's not a lot of water here, so... We can uh, not expect it to. Well, we could not expect it to heal up that quickly. Now, if it's using Rain Dance or anything, bam! There you go. It's gonna heal up real quickly. So there you go. Defeated. And well, Dugong is ticking. Is kicking some ass, including Togepi. Just not doing anything at all. Okay. So that's another victory for us. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and take on another person right here. So right here. Look at us. And. I know Price's secret. Well, I guess everybody knows his secret. Just, uh, yeah. All right, so here we go. Take it on border Gerardo. Gerardo, Gerardo. Don't know how to pronounce that name. So let's go right ahead. And crap baskets. Let's go with a lava plume. As you guys already already noticed, our good old buddy, uh, Cinder, has grown a few, well, maybe a level or two. And it learned, and it learned lava plume, which is a pretty powerful move. So, there you go, Shelter defeated. Yes, yes, we are victorious. Togepri getting some stuff. Now here comes a seal, so we gotta make sure that we uh, evade this whole thing right here. So, let's go right ahead, take on good old Fluffolt against a seal right here. And seal, let's go charge beam attack for the win. And... Well, look at this, look at this, okay. Look at that, okay, so a charge beam attack right here for the win. And, well, let's see, let's see what happens with Seal, level 25, and yes, defeated. Okay, so Seal has been defeated, we got a little bit of a boost on our special attack. There goes Fluffle at level 32. 
And, well, let's see, Border Gerardo. Gonna come out with a Cloyster. Might as well stay with Fluffle right here. Here is Cloyster. Let's go with the Charge Boom Attack. And this one right here is gonna be a little bit supercharged. For the win, and there you go, Cloyster has been defeated. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy about myself right there, look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, well, defeated Border Gerardo, Gerardo, and his secret, what, what is he, what is uh, Price's secret? The reason Price is so strong, it's because every day he sits on top of a very cold ice and he trains his body in spirit. I okay, cool, 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 cool. That's that's fantastic. I hope he doesn't get frostbite or anything. But alrighty, so let's go right ahead and take this experience here, and we're gonna give it to Cinderay because well, we kind of do want to evolve him in this episode. I don't necessarily think it's gonna happen, but you know, a little extra points never help or never hurt. And well, I'm not trying to do that. Let's go right here. Let's give this and give that to Cinder. And well, let's see. Is there anything else? Let's see. I'm gonna check a look, take a look at the handbook right here. I'm taking a look at the handbook. We are at the Lake of Rage and all that stuff. We are looking at the allies and all that crud. And it looks like to me, I am not looking at this. Uh, do, 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 do. Price. Okay, so it looks like to me, it looks like to me, we're gonna have a little bit of fun right here. So. Probably a good idea that we have the experience share onto Cinder. Let's go ahead and switch it out to Nessie. And well, let's go right here. And I, yeah, I probably screwed it up right there. So let's go here, 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 and there, and there you go. So here's Price, and it's gonna be like Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, guys. We are taking on Price, the seventh gym leader right here, or fifth or fourth, or actually fifth, sixth. It doesn't really matter. They give us the option right here, and we're going to be taking on a seal. And uh, yeah, that's my that's my problem right there. You know what? Screw it. Let's go, body slam. And there we go. And here comes a hail attack. Holy crud. All right. Let's go right ahead and do it again. And the hail attack right here does not hurt us because, well, Nessie is a, uh, an ice-type Pokemon. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All righty. And here comes a rest attack right here. So this one will actually give us an opening. And well, let's see. What do we need to do? Yeah, we're not getting hit by any kind of ice-type attack, so let's go right ahead and switch Pokemon right here. Let's go with Fluffolt and let's make it quick. There we go. And the Snore attack will hit us. We'll get hit by Hail. Let's go with a Thunder Punch. And there you go. Thunder Punch for the win. That's how you do it. Alrighty, okay. So we get some points and Cinder, of course, is mooching off the points right here. Let's see what's up next. Who is next? And we're getting buffed by the hail, of course. And here comes a pile of swine. So let's go back to Nessie right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, Nessie, how's it going? Where we are? Taking on pile of swine, the evolved form of swine up. And of course, it is still in. A oh, wow. It avoided the attack. How did it avoid the attack? So, like I said, yes, pile of swine, it is a. Ground and ice type Pokemon, so you just got to keep an eye out for that. It is weak against water type attacks if you guys don't have any fire type Pokemon. But I would say go with the water Pokemon because this guy, ground type, it is a uh, it is capable of using mud bomb and all that crud. So here we go again with another mud bomb. As many of you guys already know, mud bomb will take a, your accuracy away. But here comes a surf attack for the win. And there goes Pile of Swine. Look at that. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we're getting some points. Look at that, Cinder. Getting points too. And we're gonna be going up against a Dugong. So let's finish it off right here with Fluff Bolt. And how's it going, Fluff Bolt? It's been a while. Alright, Dugong. Now this is the Pokemon we've had our issues with. <laughs> He's like, you're quite the trainer. Yes, we are. So here we go. Thunder Punch. 
And oh my god, yes, we're getting a Aurora Beam. And that right there will lower our attack, our physical attack, so it almost predicted what we were going to do right there. This Thunder Punch is going to be effective, but not as effective because it is still a physical attack. Many of you guys already know. Uh, Fluff Bolt's physical attack, not that great. So here we go, Charge Beam. Let's go with a special attack right here. And here we go. Come on. And there it is, guys. Dugong has been defeated. Throwing out that peace sign. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. And Cinder, of course, gets some points too. Look at this. <laughs> Seems as if my luck just run out. <laughs> yes, it has. I am impressed by your prowess. With your, your strong will, I know you will overcome all of life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. And here it is. We get ourselves the Glacier Badge. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. That badge will raise your special stats of the Pokemon. It will also let your Pokemon use Whirlpool at, uh, to get across. Uh, to get across real Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift from me. We get ourselves the TM07, which, well, it is hail. It's not that big of a deal, but it's still, it summons a hailstorm that lasts for five turns. The hailstorm damages all types except ice. When the ice and the snow melt, spring arrives. You and your Pokemon will be together for many years to come. Cherish your time together. It's almost like he's trying to tell me that, like, hey man, like, you know, life is too short, which it is. And uh, yeah, cherish your life, cherish uh, the people around you and everything. Now, it doesn't matter where you go, guys. If you've defeated, uh, let's see. If you've defeated uh, Jasmine or Price last as a seventh badge, this event will trigger right around now. So we're getting a phone call from Professor Elm and he's gonna be like, Draven, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening in the with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket. Draven, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you, take care. Okay. So, what he's talking about is after every seventh victory in a gym leader in a gym battle, you gotta go to the radio and take a look at this. Bam! Um, testing, testing, one, two, three, we're the amazing Team Rocket. It's been three years, but we rebuilt the team and restructured. We're proud to announce that we're back! Giovanni, can you hear this? We finally did it. Where could the boss be? I wonder. I wonder if he's heard this announcement. So, that right there, guys, has triggered the Team Rocket effect or the Team Rocket event that are taking place over in Goldenrod City. So, the next few episodes will be all about Team Rocket and how we can defeat it or defeat them. So, stay tuned. You do not want to miss this. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. Thank you guys for watching and for liking all my videos. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.